The Sagrada Familia, the unfinished masterpiece of Catalan architect Antoni Gaudí, is slowly but surely taking its final shape. Started in 1882, the temple has entered its last stage of construction, with only 25% of the project pending, including the main spires. Four of the remaining towers will be dedicated to the four evangelists. First of all, an angel or a man for Matthew, a lion for Mark, an ox for Luke, and finally, an eagle for John. The peaks will be as high as a six-story building, crowned with marble statues designed by a disciple of the revolutionary sculptor Josep Maria Subirax. He told me, you will follow my work once, and I was a young idiot, and so <laughs> I didn't, never thought about that. Bringing all these original plans down to earth has been the perennial challenge of hundreds of architects, sculptors and construction workers through the years. So let's have a look behind the scenes to understand how the architect's taste for symbolism shapes every detail of the project. When construction works are over, the Sagrada Familia's tallest tower will be 172.5 meters. Why? The reasons are not architectural, but religious. Gaudí thought that whatever humans build, they should never aim higher than God, in other words, nature, and this is why the Sagrada Familia should never be higher than the hill of Monjuic. Once the building is finished, the skyline of Barcelona will never be the same again. Surrounded by the four evangelists, there's the tallest tower in the Sagrada Familia dedicated to Jesus Christ. It will be completed by 2022, and within four years, the remaining towers will follow. All things must come to an end, even the Sagrada Familia. And 2026 is marked in calendars as the year when Barcelona's famously unfinished masterpiece will no longer be unfinished. Antoni Gaudí saw these towers with his own eyes before he died a hundred years ago. Today, the building is still under construction. As he famously said, he was not in a hurry because neither was his client, God.